Why don't chimpanzees have hair on their butts? Did I take out the garbage? <laughs> Can Superman beat the Hulk? Can a Galapagos tortoise breed with an Aldabra? You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Ken. Okay, so today's question comes from one of our Patreon supporters, Bill Prizman, and uh, it is, can a Galapagos tortoise breed with an Aldabra? That's a great question. Um, the first instance is probably no. However, there are instances that uh, defy what we believe is possible. Um, for example, I know that there have been sulcata tortoises and leopard tortoises that were able to produce offspring. So they call them lep lepcopters. Uh, they also have, um, uh, I believe I've seen a leopard tortoise and a red foot tortoise, which is totally I love insane. You, Kenneth! Love you too! a good button. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Uh, anyway, we were talking about the hybrids and the redfoot tortoise, uh, which is insane because it's a South American species and it has bred with uh, the leopard tortoise, which is all the way in Africa, separated by the Atlantic Ocean. So that's interesting to me. So I can't say definitively no, but it's very unlikely that they would be able to breed. Um, in captivity, stranger things have happened, but the resulting offspring would not be able to reproduce themselves. And that's how scientists gauge whether or not something is a species. It depends. Uh, human beings come in all different shapes and sizes, and we can all breed with each other and produce fertile offspring that are able to make their own babies as well. Now, Sulcata tortoises are sulcata tortoises. Redfoot tortoises are redfoot tortoises. The reason why the leopard and redfoot didn't work out is because they're definitely still two different species, however closely related, but they're unable to produce offspring that would then in turn produce offspring themselves when they reach sexual maturity. So it's a very confounding question. Um, you know, it, it, right now there's no definitive answer that I can give because as we've seen, stranger things have happened. Um, it would be interesting because both are island species, both attain a very large size, uh, both are almost identical in uh, habit and diet, but you know what? I don't know. Good question there, Mr. Preston. Has What's anyone ever attempted this sort of thing? I mean, uh, Not know? that I know of. You know what? Let's call, let's call Sam Piscucci and see yeah. what he says. Let's I gotta see. think that, like, uh, it just seems like someone must Let's have tried Let's get Sam. It. There's a lot of people who have Aldabras and Why not? Lives. Let's phone a friend. Uh, you know, I don't pretend to know absolutely everything, but um, let's see if we can get Sam on the horn. Uh, One second. Hello? Hey, Sam, it's Kenan. What's going on? Hey man, you're on speakerphone with everyone on YouTube. Can I borrow you for just about, Matt, two minutes? Yeah, sure. All right, so check this out. We got a question from one of our uh, supporters asking if a Galapagos tortoise in Aldabra could actually produce a hybrid baby or produce babies. Now, I went on and talked about how their sulcatas and leopards have done it and leopards and redfoots have done it. So I can't answer definitively whether or not that can happen but in your experience, having had both animals, have you ever seen any kind of breeding behavior or have yeah. you ever heard of someone do that? I've never heard of it, it ever being done or ever being accomplished where they were actually fertile. But I, I've had cases where my uh, galops have uh, mounted, and vice versa, have mounted the, the opposite species. Well, that's pretty incredible. Now, yeah. That, that's really awesome. So, have you ever heard of these uh, hybrids between leopards and sulcatas? Sure. Very cool, man. Well, thanks, yeah. dude. I just wanted to see whether or not you had ever heard of anything like that happening. But in my best guess, in my, uh, my training, I don't think it's going to work out. Yeah, I'm not sure it is either because it probably would have 
happened already, I would think. There's a lot of zoos that um, and different organizations that, that have animals together. I don't keep them together. I, I keep my male, my Aldabras so, uh, separate from my Galops. But, you know, over, over 35 years, you know, they, they have been together for one reason or another, you know, moving from, moving from one pen or another. And, and the males will jump them. Right. And, and the females don't run away either. So it's interesting, you know. It's an interesting question. All right, cool, man. Maybe we could do some more digging and find something else out. But I just thank you for your time, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Take care. All right, buddy. Take care, everybody. See you. Bye-bye. Oh, there you go, man. So it would have happened by now. Not to say it's impossible, but, you know, to be honest, my male tortoises will jump on a rock and start thinking it's a female. So if you're lonely, a rock looks good. Anyhow, folks, there is today's question. I'll do a little bit more digging in. I think we should revisit this. Actually, I think this would make a really cool episode of Camp Kennan about hybrid reptiles. Let's dig a little deeper. Maybe we'll even talk to my friend Larry Wood and find out what's going on with the biology that really helps or hinders these animals to create a viable offspring. All right, everybody, thank you so much. If you enjoy what you're seeing here, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We're answering questions every Saturday. Go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan and check me out on YouTube for some more comments. I'm going to finish filling up their water bowl, get back to work, and I'll be pondering more hard-hitting questions. I can tell you this, Batman could never beat Superman. See ya.